To start annotating objects using a bounding box, just click on the corresponding rectangle icon on the sidebar. Then choose a label you want to annotate and press the shape button. The mouse cursor will be changed to a cross. That means the tool was activated. You can start drawing your first bounding box. The red cross lines will help us annotate this object precisely. Once we put the first point, we'll see the size of the bounding box we're going to draw for this object in pixels. To complete the bounding box, just click the second point on the opposite side of the object. The created object will appear in the Objects panel on the right. In this panel, you can also see some basic object settings and additional options, like making a copy, propagation, removing, and so on. If an object has some additional attributes, you can see them in the Details menu. Specifically, this vehicle has the color attribute. Let's add the correct color for it. Let's continue annotating objects. To create a new bounding box with a previously chosen label, just press the N hotkey. You can click the right mouse button to see an object's menu, which has the same data as the object's menu on the right. Bounding boxes are rotatable. To rotate a rectangle, simply click and hold the white dot above each bounding box and start rotating it left to right. The rotation angle will be listed next to the box size. Let's change the label so we can annotate the next few vehicles. It's possible to make a copy of a previously annotated object. To do this, you should hover over the existing bounding box and press the Ctrl-C hotkey. Then, press Ctrl-V to see the projection of a copied box. To complete a copy, click the left mouse button. That's it. The copied object will have the same label, size, and other attributes. You can adjust the size of the bounding box by clicking and dragging along its borders. There are two options on how to draw a rectangle using either two points or four points. By default, we use two points. Let's select the four point option and see how it looks. Just like with two points, use the left mouse button to place all four points when drawing your bounding box. Let's finish annotating these vehicles. Bounding boxes also have the Propagation option. To activate it, click the three dots and select Propagate, or hover over the object and press the Ctrl-B hotkey. This option allows you to propagate the chosen object several frames forward. When propagating, you'll see a window where it's possible to specify the number of frames we want to propagate an object. Propagation will be started on the next frame. Press Yes to start propagation. The box will be in the same position as on the last frame. You can just click and drag to move the box and click the handles to adjust the size. These are just a few of the ways that CVAT makes annotating your data easier and faster. To find out more, visit CVAT.ai.